Storm Team Weather Lab. KMAC meteorologist Shelby Mack. It's Thursday and St. Patrick's Day, and I hope you're wearing your green this morning. Don't forget to put it on as you head out the door. I've got my crazy green socks on, and what else is going to be crazy today is our weather. We are going to be very windy as we start to see this very strong cold front making its way into our northwestern counties before daybreak into our central counties, including Lubbock, as we go into our midday and then into the evening, we'll start to see this system sliding into our southeastern counties closer to Snyder. However, this morning we're all starting off pretty mild anywhere from the lower 40s into the mid 50s, close to 55 in post 49 in Lubbock, 50 in Loveland and Anton, 46 in Brownfield, 42 in Dimmit for one of our cooler spots. But these temperatures won't be rising too much through the rest of the day because of this strong front. And currently, winds are moving in from the southwest anywhere from 9 to 21 miles per hour. But we're going to start to see a shift in these winds as they start to move in from the northwest through our afternoon. And sustained winds are going to be moving anywhere from 25 to 31 miles per hour and gusting closer to 45 miles per hour. So hold on to your hats today, folks, because it's going to be a very breezy one. And this cold breeze is also going to be making it feel pretty blustery out there. And so no surprise there. We've got a wind advisory today from noon to 8 p.m. across all of the South Plains and our southeastern counties are also under a fire weather watch for that elevated risk because you are going to be seeing that cold front slipping in just a little bit later and so you're going to be cooling off a little bit more slowly as well. So this means we're also going to be seeing a red flag warning from noon to 8 p.m. for King, Dickens, Kent, Garza and Scurry counties and you're going to be a little bit warmer getting into the lower 70s while the rest of us are anywhere from the lower 50s into the lower to mid 60s. So for your St. Patrick's Day, great day to have your beverage of choice inside and make sure it's a green one. I'll probably be having a shamrock shake and these temperatures are going to be making it into the lower to mid 60s. The mid 60s is a little bit more generous though. Most of us are going to be getting closer to those lower 60s and that blowing dust is really going to start to pick up as well because those winds are going to be moving so quickly and it's really going to be blowing more dust in our southern counties but then tomorrow we're all going to stay green out there as these temperatures stay nice and mild and we'll be getting into the mid to upper 50s in our northern counties and into the lower 60s in our southern counties as we go into our Friday afternoon. Now then a warm up will start to slide on in as we get into the weekend getting into the lower to mid 70s and for our first day of spring it is going to be on Sunday and overnight on Sunday and into our Monday morning we do have the chance for some rain. You heard me right we could see some showers as we go into our Monday morning and that is ahead of a cold front that's going to knock us back down into the lower 50s for our Tuesday. But overall, this week is looking pretty good just today. Make sure to remember it is going to be very, very windy out there. The winds are almost going to be howling.